North Star arrived safely at Shelter Island Marina. The voyage of this vessel up the river, it's short, it's brief, but it's not without risk. It's an old hull, I mean, you really don't know the condition of a lot of it. We were well prepared. We went to the vessel ahead of time and opened all the hatches. There were pumps aboard. Yards on the foremast had to be canted. You can see them leaning on an angle in order for her to fit even inside the large travel lift. Immediately after being removed from the water, she had to be washed, pressure washed. There was nothing but muscles on the bottom. The bottom was remarkably clean. After being pressure washed, the vessel was moved to a temporary location, chosen to provide some room around the hull for the cranes and the equipment that were necessary in order to, to de-rig the vessel. Once the vessel was in position in this temporary spot, then the big, big job, two jobs, one, get as much out of her as possible, uh, you know, the accumulation of three owners, layer after layer of stuff in the, down in the holds and in the, uh, in the lazarat, and to derig the vessel. Uh, the derigging done uh, so that she could then be lifted with the smaller machine, the 65-ton machine, and moved to her, the location where she's going to be for a significant amount of time. The job of taking all the, <laughs> the accumulated uh, odds and ends out of the boat was uh, endless. All the old stuff, the uh, wheelhouse, all the old instrumentation, RDF redirection finder from, I don't know, 50 years ago. Just the accumulation of, of all those years of, of crowds and crowds of people aboard, including their dogs. the de-rigging, and this is quite a job. Uh, 22 spars, miles of running rigging. First job, pull out every unattached and possible piece of line in order to just clear out as much as possible. Get the, all the yard overboard, uh, uh, disentangled from all the standing and running rigging. Get it all down on the ground. Oh no, a tremendous amount of work. Everything needs to be disassembled in exactly the right order, and the crane has to take the lift at just the right point, and everything has to be prepared. The mizzen was a special, a special case. In the reconstruction, the steering shaft ended up passing right through the mizzen mass, which made it impossible to remove. So rather than take the rudder off, we just sawed the mast off above the rudder shaft, or the steering shaft, and, and removed it. Despite the weathered appearance, once the sails and hardware were removed from the spars, we found that the, the, the timber itself is in excellent condition. We don't know what the new rig will be, but we will use what we can. So we found the silver dollar. It stuck to the bottom of the mast when we took it out. Now the tradition here is that it's for good luck. That's the simple understanding. But in fact, the tradition goes back to the Greeks, where it was stepped in the mast in order to appease the gods and perhaps buy themselves an entrance into the afterlife. So I'm going to remove it now. Okay, so the tradition is that it should be the same age as the boat, but this boat was re-rigged in 1984 and the main was stepped on that date, so that's the date of the coin. So we'll clean it up, put it in a safe place, and it will go back at the foot of the mast when the ship is re-rigged. Okay, we're mixing up the special sauce for North Star for all the black mold and powdery mildew mushrooms. We've identified three different mushroom uh, varieties. We've been spraying this every night 
uh, in any areas that we're going to be working in. Uh, we've also run an ozone generator in all those compartments for the first, uh, first week. I'm just eyeballing this now, but we're just using uh, white cleaning vinegar, a bit of Dawn dish soap. We'll call this drink the Blue Malibu. We've got some borax here. I've got some hot water. Let that dissolve a bit. Use a special stirring tool here. I want to do 14 to the left, counterclockwise. And then you want to do 14 to the right, counterclockwise. That's 15, but it doesn't really matter. A little bit of tea tree, bit of a shout out to our friends down under. The magic number again is 14. That could be 15, but it doesn't really matter. And then, yeah, we're pressurized this tank and uh, go and spray all our surfaces that uh, have any suspect mold or powdery mildew. So I've been removing these, um, this ballast. Um, it's all iron or steel, some of it in the form of these old sash window counterbalances. Um, I don't know if any people remember, but they used to have counterbalances in the windows so you could raise and lower an old, old window without any, without any weight. And the other thing they've been using is these uh, railroad rail plates, I don't know what they're called. Uh, these were all stacked in here like this, about this high. Um, and then we've come into these short, shorter, they're probably these chopped in half, but they're embedded in epoxy. I'm getting to the point where I can't get them out anymore, but I, I, I don't know why they would have all this ballast in the bar of the boat. The thought just occurred to me that maybe for breaking ice, um, and in fact, at one point they removed a much bigger engine from the boat and put a smaller engine in, which would have made it even more bow heavy. So I really don't know why all, all this ballast is here, but uh, it's pretty interesting. You can see there's some... There is actually some lead in here too. Eureka! Glad we started. There is uh, quite a bit of rot in the lower section, I believe. I haven't started poking at it too much yet, but let's see. It's often there, so definitely. So once I've got these metal straps off, I'm going to start banging some wedges into the seam. That's all these things off. I suspect that's all that was holding this on. And now we just have to drive a bunch of wedges into it all around and hope that it comes up. Straight back. 